solve y minus 2px is equal to tan inverse of xp square. Now find the general solution. Now how to find the general solution? Now given equation, first we check this given equation is solvable for p or solvable for y or solvable for x. Then after you differentiate, separate the variable and integrate and eliminate p then you get general solution okay now given equation is y minus 2 px is equal to tan inverse of x p square now this is called a equation number one now first to check the given equ equation is possible to express p is equal to y is equal to x is equal to this one is possible it is not possible to x is equal to and also p is equal to only is a possible this given e expression is possible solvable for solvable for y y only okay now solvable for y only means differentiate equation number one this one solvable for y means differentiate one with respect to x y means with respect to x now dy by dx minus 2 into is a product rule okay p differentiate x is 1 minus 2 and differentiate p means p by dp by dx into x is equal to now tan inverse x you know the differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x squared clear now differentiation of tan inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x squared means x square p raised to 4 again differentiate u into v product rule using product rule x as it is differentiate p square is a 2p into dp by dx plus differentiate x become 1 only p square is remaining Okay, now in this unit is P is a divided by dx or divided by dx is equal to P. Now this part you consider P is P and open this minus 2P and it is a sorry this is not 2, two, two and minus minus this is plus sorry this is a plus using product rule and minus 2 dp by dx into x is equal to okay now again open this bracket the side is uh, x uh, 2xp divided by 1 plus x square p raised to 4 open this one dp by dx plus again open this p square upon 1 plus x square p raised to 4 now this is a only 1p minus p plus and minus 2 minus p and 2 dp by dx into x is equal to 2xp upon 1 plus x square p raised to 4 into dp by dx plus p square upon 1 plus x square p raised to 4 okay now this part you shift one side because you take one side dp by dx one side and this part is shift left hand side is like this therefore minus p and minus p square upon 1 plus x square p raised to 4 and this part shift right hand side is equal to 2xp upon 1 plus x square p raised to 4 into dp by dx and this is plus shift this is plus 2 dp by dx into x okay now you take common is minus p common uh, take outside is 1 plus p upon 1 plus x square p raised to 4 okay and this is equal to again we take common factor is a 2x 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 and 
dp by dx inside is p upon 1 plus x square p raised to 4 plus 1 okay now and cross multiplication is minus p and this one is 1 plus multiplication uh, 1 plus again 1 plus is x square p raised to 4 and plus p divided by uh, 1 plus x square p raised to 4 and right hand side 2x dp by dx again cross multiply is a p plus 1 plus x square p raised to 4 divided by 1 plus x square p raised to 4 okay now now both side uh, the terms cancel this one and this one is a cancel remaining is a minus p is equal to 2x dp by dx or separate the variable dx x dp p one side okay that means dx upon x take one side is equal to p this side minus 2 dp by p or dx by x plus 2 dp by p now you integrate integration integrate the integration of dx by x plus <coughs> sorry 2 is outside integration of dp by p equal to k now integration is this one is a log x plus 2 and this one is a log p is equal to k means log c integral constant now therefore this one is log of a into b formula you know the log formula log a plus log b is equal to log a b and one more formula is log x to p is equal to p into log x okay now using this formula property log p square and uh, log a plus log b is equal to log a b means log of x p square p square means this one log p square is equal to log c both side log cancel now, therefore x p square is equal to c c is integral constant okay now consider equation number one is y is equal to 2 sorry y is equal to 2 px this one shift right hand side plus sign consider equation number one y is equal to 2 px plus tan inverse of x p square equation number one now eliminate p from equation number one now x p square is equal to c therefore x p square is equal to c or only p is equal to square root of c by x this is equation number two now eliminate p from equation number one using equation number two in equation number one now use this p value in equation number one now therefore y is equal to two into p is a square root of c by x into x plus tan inverse of x p square x p square means c tan inverse c now now therefore y is equal to 2 into square root of cx plus tan inverse c so how we get how will get this one square root of cx now see this one square root of c by x into x take inside is means square root of c by x into x square one x is cancelled only cx remaining square root of cx this is square root of cx and this is required solution, general solution.